After weeks of increasing coronavirus cases, deaths are rising at a faster pace in many parts of the country. Three of the worst hit states, us here in California, along with Texas and Florida, have recorded their highest daily death tolls yet. And there's growing evidence the surge is linked to reopenings. The New York Times is reporting the average number of daily cases in Florida has jumped up 1400 percent since the state opened. In Pacific Grove, a group of seniors living in affordable mobile home park say they've been at risk of losing their housing at the hands of the city, alleging repeated attempts to rezone that plot of land. KIO anchor Veronica Macias joins us live from Monarch Pines with the details on that mobile cooperative filing lawsuit to block future attempts at doing this. Hey, Veronica. Aaron, well, to give you an idea, a visual of what eminent domain would look like out here, I've taken some blue chalk and I've drawn along this strip of land that would be considered a rezoned open space. And what you can clearly see is that residents wouldn't have access to their homes. Senior homeowners in this peaceful, affordable mobile home park say they're nervous. Over the last few years, they feel like they've been harassed by what they say is a plot by the city of Pacific Grove to use eminent domain to rezone their property. Now, they're taking the city to court. It's been extremely um, tormenting to the residents in this community. And in fact, had we not filed a lawsuit, it would continue. The reason we had to sue is this is the fifth time in my short period of time here. Um, that the city has, we've gone to them, we've talked about it. The lawsuit was filed back in April. Residents say they want the city's commitment in writing to leave this area of the mobile home park land as residential. Pacific Grove's mayor, Bill Peak, says the city has no intention of rezoning. City Council met last Wednesday, July 1st, to discuss in open session this this particular issue we received a report that that uh, looks back over the documentation and concluded that this this parcel should remain as zoned as a mobile home there is no plans to change that zoning at all but residents say they've heard this before the city they say continues to make the case the parcel is zoned incorrectly which is why it's always popping up on city council agendas and that's what makes homeowners anxious any plan to rezone would force some elderly residents on fixed incomes out with a 50-foot strip of open space through this property, the property would effectively be taken because the, the property values here would be diminished dramatically and access to each and every unit will be restricted. The, the neighbors are, this is people's homes. They're in their last parts of their lives. This is their home. They're worried about having to relocate. They're worried about you know, safety and health. So they've turned to a lawsuit to put an end to any rezoning discussions. So again, to give you a visual, we measured out 50 feet. It would end about here from that blue line. Right now, the city is close to a deadline having to respond to the complaint from homeowners. That's in mid-July. Homeowners say that they plan to allow a judge to grant them more time if needed. What they are asking for is for the city to compensate them for their attorney fees here. Aaron.